Hello there, you're watching Danski, the place to be to develop your creative skills. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create an awesome super slow-mo effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's jump into Premiere Pro and I've created a new project and from the project window in the bottom left corner, I'm going to double click and navigate to the footage. Now you can use any video footage of real people doing things in actual real life and stuff, but this just happens to be some gameplay footage recorded by my brother playing Dishonored. If you'd like to check out his channel and his Dishonored gameplay footage, I will link it below in the description. So we can drag this footage into the timeline and it will create a new sequence with settings to match that footage. And we can see from the sequence settings that it was recorded at 1920 by 1080 and at 60 frames a second. So the higher frame rate your video footage is recorded in, the easier this is going to be. But what we're about to do is something pretty special. So if we play through this video clip, and you can see the protagonist blasts two people off the roof or off the bridge. At the point at which they are initially blasted away, we can use the razor tool just to make a cut there. We'll move this along a tiny bit and we'll do another cut there. So we want to slow this down an enormous amount, go for that real kind of matrix style effect. So we can right click this segment that we've now isolated and go down to speed and duration. And at 60 frames a second, we could drop this down to 50% and it would look okay. But we want to drop this down to 10% speed, something really dramatic. Now you're going to want to leave Ripple Edit Shifting Trailing Clips selected. That is a mouthful to say, but that will just allow this to become 10% speed and everything else will adjust around it. So if I try and play this clip again, you can see this section in slow motion is quite terrible, but don't worry, there's something we can do about that. If you right click on this section, once you've made your speed adjustments, go down to time interpolation, and instead of frame sampling, select optical flow. And you'll see part of it or all of it will turn red, and it will still look pretty terrible for the most part. It seems to have rendered quite quickly there, but if it doesn't render, just go to sequence, render effects in to out, and it will do something over here, just rendering all of those frames. And then if we go back, you'll see it's turned green now, all this space here where we've applied that effect. So this is all good to go and we can click and we have a beautiful slow-mo effect. Now, sometimes it works more effectively than others, but this is a quick and easy plug-in free way to get an awesome super slow-mo effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. So there we go. I know we don't do too many Premiere Pro tutorials. I'm still actively learning Premiere Pro myself, but I had to share this effect with you because I learned this recently and it's just freaking awesome. So as always, guys, please feel free to leave any questions or comments down below. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Take care and I'll see you next time.